What's going on guys, Benzi here, and today I'll get some, uh, Annihilation map pack gameplay for you guys. This is my first ever multiplayer game on the map pack. I am playing on the map Hangar 18. Um, sent me a nice quick skip there, and I use a PSG one, and I'm going 38 and 5. In my first game, I thought it was pretty good, that's why I wanted to upload it. Um, and if you're wondering why the first, like, minute or two minutes has been cut out that's because one to make it a quicker gameplay and two um i used the org at the start and i got one kill with the org and then uh well it's nice and then um one and then two kills with an l96 so i was three for two at the start and then for me to go what is it like 35 and three for the second half isn't too bad i get two chopper guns i'm pretty sure um i do do it I do do a little bit of work with this G11 here. Um, it was pretty sick. And you see um, in my previous video how I showed you guys the Hangar 18 jump spots. Now, that helped me a hell of a lot um, before I played this map. As you see me get a kill just before from those jump spots. Um, I recommend doing that whenever you get a new map pack. Um, or even a brand new game in fact so go through like what when black ops came out um i went into what do you call it um private match for a good solid hour or two and um i basically looked roughly where the traffic areas are going to be and that and then you know tried to uh basically know where people are going to be how i can kill them and how they're not going to expect it and that ended up helping me a lot. Um, I didn't do it for every map. I did it for a few, and then I just went straight. In, and when Black Ops came out, all it did was to demolition Nuke Town because you could vote for the same map again, which I personally like. I love playing demolition demolition Nuke Town. But uh, oh well, I guess they wanted to patch it. But personally, I love demolition on Nuke Town. I thought it was shit loads of fun. Um, just so many kills, and it was. That is probably what made the game more fun, you know. I don't really like, um, like if, I don't know, I just don't like playing a Ray one map and then you know, grid the next map or whatever. I just like getting lots of kills in a short, um, environment, like firing range as well. That was a lot of fun. But, oh, well, as you see me run around here, also with the map pack, everyone seemed to use Ghost, which, like, I wasn't too happy about, um, and everyone's using UAVs as well, so I don't know if I have Ghost on this PSG one. I might put it on because everyone's using UAVs like crazy. And when the map pack first comes out, people don't really know where to go. Um, at least for the first 24 hours, you see me running around the Blackbird here. Um, and yeah, my last video I did say Jet. Um, I didn't know what it was called at the time, but obviously Big Black Jet. It's Blackbird. Now look at that. Honestly, that was like six hit markers with a G11. That is absolute bullshit. But, uh... Oh, well. Now, if... You should buy this map pack or not. That's what I'm making this video about. Um... I would recommend it. Um... The maps are really good. I could see myself playing these maps for a long amount of time. However, the people at the moment that are playing the maps, um they are extremely frustrating like the map hazard which is my i thought was my personal favorite um the remake of cliffside but it was just so so frustrating to play that game tdm people just um you know camp like you don't understand they they camp at the back of the map like if you play World at War, you know, it was a lot different, like, people don't camp, they're like, they'd even run around with the sniper, like, around the back, they wouldn't just, like, sit in one stupid little corner, which, I don't know, it just made me so frustrating, as you see me get, like, a nice little clip here, um, and that really annoys me about this map pack, the fact that, oh, it's not this map pack, sorry, it's every map pack, where people just don't know how to play the maps yet, so they just camp, have when the game first came out as well so it was kind of frustrating that so many people like camp in a corner with ghost but uh 
As you can see, I think I'm using, if I am using ghosts here, then I'm running around with ghosts. I'm not just sitting in one little corner. And also, if you get chopper gunners, like I've got two chopper gunners this game, they got shot down like within 10 seconds. I've sped them up, but honestly, I, I, there's probably not even a need to speed up. I get shot down that quickly. And that guy was frustrating as shit there. Yeah, see me switch to ghost now. Um, because, I don't know, I just thought it wasn't worth it. I thought I, I might as well just use ghost. This is like the first time I've actually used ghost. Believe it or not, I, I've never used it since my first prestige. I only have ghost on my like shoot em down class. And I don't have ghost pro either, so it doesn't really help. Everyone that has ghost pro on this will shoot down your chopper gunners like crazy. So that's something you might want to consider, but... I haven't played the zombies yet. Apparently, some people say it's good. Some people say it was bad. Trout said it was bad, but Jericho said it was good. Um, honestly, for those people that just buy a map pack for the zombies, um, you might want to check out the Syndicate Projects channel, um, and he'll probably say we'll soon whether it's worth it or not. I reckon it'd still be worth it because these multiplayer maps, though, are in my opinion the best map pack they've had so far um, Hazard is an amazing looking map um, it's really really awesome they remade Cliffside so well it was just that uh, they well not that they didn't anticipate how the people would play the map and it's kind of frustrating when you used to play that map and you know I know like the lines are so I know where the traffic will get me kills on the map but that's for COD 5 like this is completely different it's frustrating as hell um I don't know that just annoys me a hell of a lot that people play that map like bitchy as I think I'm gonna get caught out soon here um so I would buy the map pack it's worth 15 to 20 dollars however much you guys have to pay depending on where you live um for us in Australia, it ends up costing like eighteen dollars, I think, which is a fair bit. Um, that was so unlucky there. I thought I was gonna be free and get my dogs, but oh well. Um, and you see me speed up the chopper gunner here. Um, the maps like there's not as many jump spots like as I may have said if you watch my jump spot videos. Uh, if you subscribe from that, um, thank you. I will be uploading more often. I've got a cold at the moment, so. That's why I sound like shit, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, thanks to all the people that have subscribed. Like, I got 20 subscribers in the last two days, and normally I would get maybe... No, 25, sorry, in the last two days. And normally I would get, like, one every week. So thank you so much. Thumbs up the video if you liked it. Um, really does help me out a lot. And subscribe if you want more. Other than that, I will see you all later. And have a good day, guys.